Right now, I have six cars in my garage. I have one heavily modified 350Z. It took more than a year just to do the bodywork. I also have an S2000. This is another track only car. With a full carbon body, it only weighs about 930 kilograms. Suspension is from Amuse, and the body was done by Opera Performance. What else did I have? A Mercedes. The Mercedes SL55 is my daily driver. I also own a Porsche GT3. This car was a benchmark that I had set for myself when building the 350Z. I think the Z's performance is very close to the GT3 now. Ford GT. I have two of them, one white and one gunmetal. <laughs> the white car. You know the Ford GT that appears at the opening of Gran Turismo 4? I want to build mine just like that. I'm thinking about installing a carbon monocoque to it. Well, I think the first game that I ever created was back when I was in grade 5, about 10 or 11 years old. It's been one of my hobbies since then. However, I actually wanted to be a film director. I wanted to shoot my own movie. Why I'm making games is that it's really difficult to pursue a dream to be a film director when you grow up in Japan. If I grew up in the US, I think I would have pursued a career in the movie industry. Now, I'm not a film director, but I'm a game director. I loved cars to begin with. When I was three years old, I was able to name all the cars on the street. Since I really loved cars, when the opportunity came in my career to create a game, it was an instant decision to make one related to cars. Things don't happen so easily. At first, the whole concept of Gran Turismo couldn't be understood by the game publisher. Back then, there wasn't anything called driving simulators. They also couldn't understand why it had to involve cars that really existed. Games of that nature didn't exist. That's why I decided to start off with something easier to understand, thus Motor Tune Grand Prix. It was about a cartoon racer in a fantasy world. This Gran Turismo was going to be the first game produced for the new PlayStation 3 hardware, so we definitely had to take the basic specs of the game to a whole new level. For example, we've increased the number of cars that can run in a single race. We also worked hard to make the driving simulation more real. For instance, we tried to give the player more control when drifting the car. Another element is the AI, the cars that you race against. It's become much more intelligent. Also, this game will have online capabilities. Even up till now, I think Gran Turismo has created a unique global community, but the users weren't really connected to each other. Now the community will really become global. This will be a big change. Our goal is to include every joy and fascination of automobiles into the game. Since we're trying to create virtual reality, I think it could be called a simulator. As you know, there are many aspects in the world of automobiles. In a sense, the game will have elements that will resemble an encyclopedia of cars.
I meant to do that. That was on purpose. We're going to try that again. I don't think he likes me very much. <laughs>